Sigma Tiger News all up in your grill with the hottest, juiciest beef online. What do we got today? Boeing. Ooh, in the news again. Bird flu update and truth behind the protest. What could really be behind it? Welcome to Sigma Tiger News. You're here with the big Sig Tig. And what do we got today? Well, Boeing's back in the news. And what could it be? Well, they had a whistleblower come out there a few months ago. And like, well, he's been out for a while. He's been compiling this case against them for a while. Finally got to testify. Testified in two uh, consecutive days. And then he had a third day. But he just killed himself in the parking lot. So strange, you know. And just before like a week before they were like oh he was like he definitely wouldn't kill himself he called me on the phone he was like if i ever die and it's suicide it's not suicide so anyway boeing whistleblower joshua dean dies suddenly after accusing supplier of ignoring safety flaws in the 737 max production well let's see exactly what's happening here yet another boeing whistleblower has died after the family of joshua dean a quality auditor and supplier spirit aerosystems confirmed that he passed away at the age of 44 on tuesday Three months after testifying against the plane building giant, Dean accused Boeing supplier of ignoring warnings about defects in the manufacturing of the controversial 737 MAX in a shareholder lawsuit against Spirit. The manufacturer of the door plug that blew out midair on Alaska Airlines flight in January. He was fired from his job in April 2023. I think they were sending in a message to anybody else. If you're too loud, we will silence you. Yeah, like the old uh, Japanese proverb, the tallest nail always gets the hammer. Dean's aunt, Carol Parsons, confirmed his death in a series of Facebook posts, as did other family members and messages seen by Mail Online. Parsons also confirmed his death in a statement to the Seattle Times. Parsons told the newspaper that Dean went to a hospital in Wichita, Kansas, where he lived after experiencing breathing difficulties. During his stay, Dean developed MS MRSA pneumonia and needed to be intubated. So I think that's put on a ventilator. Uh, MRSA is like a staph infection, I believe. Our thoughts are with Josh Dean's family and sudden loss is stunning. Yeah, so, uh, <clears throat> you know, not accusing Boeing of anything, obviously, but it's very strange, obviously, that people uh, that are blowing the whistle on their poor quality control practices are just dying of suicide when they said they wouldn't. And, of course, weird respiratory infection at a young age. Uh, vaccine makers prep bird flu shot for humans just in case as rich nations lock in supplies. Scientists raise concerns over potential vaccine hoarding should a human outbreak occur. And this just has shades of uh, 2020 all over it. Some of the world's leading makers of flu vaccines say they could make hundreds of millions of bird flu shots for humans within months if a new strain of avian influenza ever jumps across the species divide. Ever does. Well, it's in bottlenose dolphins. Check out the episode this week. One current outbreak of avian flu known as H5N1, clad 234B, which was the one, in fact, has killed record numbers of birds and infected mammals, cows, leaf to humans, Human cases, however, remain very rare, and global health officials have said the risk of transmission between humans is still low. Executives at three vaccine manufacturers, GSK, PLC, Moderna, Inc., and CL, CSL Squaris, owned by CSL Limited, told Reuters that already they are already developing or about to test sample human vaccines that better match the circulating subtype as a precautionary measure against future pandemic. <clears throat> Others like uh, Sanofi said they stand ready to begin production if needed with existing H5N1 vaccine strains in stock. Yeah, so they tried to uh, get that one on the go previously in uh, 2010, 11, maybe 12, somewhere around there. Uh, outbreaks started happening in uh, Europe, I believe. And they were thinking about rolling something out. So they've been working on this for a while. Hopefully we will never need to have a vaccination for humans. Yeah, hopefully. But I think we have to be ready course and make sure you got some usd ready as well to invest in those companies when it happens because that's 
exactly how you will get rich. Well, in you will increase your investment, likely. All right, let's check it out. Bear, uh, what's he doing? This is nature, honey. So Juniper the bear there uh, was a little bit hungry and decided to put on a little show of nature for the children watching uh, in this I don't know if it's a zoo or a nature reserve, whatever it is. It's a zoo, apparently. And the children were horrified. That's not so nice, and please stop. But that's nature, and it's good that the children got to experience it, and someone should tell them that, hey, this happens all the time. When there's big, giant monsters out there, they devour little things, and they don't care what they're like. Some humans actually behave like that as well, so be careful. That's what I would try to relay to those kids. And uh, some of those kids grow up, and... Uh, turn into monsters as well democrat terrorist at university of wisconsin there is only one solution they also shouted hail hitler at jewish students so let's just have a quick look at that my goodness So there you have it, uh, very disturbing uh, to be using that verbiage and rhetoric, speaking about Jewish, and uh, yeah, apparently they shouted Hail Hitler as well, and you could hear the crowd all uh, piping in. What do we have here? One of the spokespeople for UCLA protesters explains their end goal is for more than divestment, she says, given that the University of California is founded on colonialism. It's inherently a violent institution. She argues the UC system is linked to both foreign wars and domestic police brutality and demands this be addressed. She's saying the quiet part out loud. Uh, they intend to dismantle our domestic institutions. The Palestinian cause is just a warm-up. Yeah, so we talked about uh, that yesterday. Uh, there was a great intro video talking about like the plight of the Palestinians and how they always fall victim to some sort of... Uh, maniacal terrorist organization that they do end up kind of supporting somehow in the guise of maybe being uh, saved or whatever it is and this social marxism is leeching into the colleges over here and they're just hopping on and organizing but how are they getting it together what's going on here all right so the democrats enter panic mode as gaza protests erupt so this is why they're shutting it down House Senate Democrats' anxiety is spiking as pro-Palestinian protests on college campuses around the country kick into overdrive. Why it matters? The protests are fueling a volatile political dynamic sparked by the October 7th terrorist attack by Hamas, the Palestinian government. They, The longer they continue and the worse they will get, the worse it's going to be for the election overall. So there it is. It has everything to do with the election, uh, and it just happens to be the worst time to go on a protest. So who's fueling it? The demonstrations, the lawmaker warned, are bringing out the public's most conservative side. Uh-oh, Republicans are taking over. Wrong. The Democrats are going wild. And it's not a conservative side. It's the new liberal side. So uh, here we have Lisa... Fithian, she was arrested tonight. She's a professional protest consultant who teaches students how to riot and commit terrorism. She's a charter member of the Extinction Rebellion. All right, let's have a look and see what's happening here.
All right, so there you have it. You've seen the lady there. So who is she? What's her deal? She's a notorious anti-Israel protester, Lisa Fithian. She's paid $300 a day to teach activists, and she was spotted among the Columbia rioters and was actually arrested last night, allegedly. Um, she's a lifelong agitator. In the mid-2010s, she was ranking in $300 a day uh, to teach about basic uh, disruption. She has frequently thrown her energies behind pro-Palestinian causes and even celebrated her birthday this month in Istanbul, Turkey, where she was training the participants on the next flotilla to Gaza in the next coming week. According to an Instagram post, it's the long time, it's long past time for this violent Israeli occupation to end. Okay. Uh, this hateful Israeli occupation of Palestine is not only doing harm and causing death for Palestinians, it's harming the water, the land, and the soul of the Israelis. Well, it's not necessarily untrue, but the fact is she should be uh, fighting Hamas, not the Israelis. It's like, you're, you guys are on the wrong side here. Anyway, uh, so she is a professional agitator. Perhaps she's the one behind this. Perhaps they're funneling money through her. She's an adult. You know what I mean? She has more experience in life than these young college kids. And she's in there and she's stirring it up. And maybe that's where they're getting all of these signs. Maybe George Soros got a main line to her and he's like, Hey, Mrs. Check it out. These campus riots have been spontaneous eruptions of support for Hamas terrorists. Luckily, 500 professionally printed protest signs showed up unannounced out of nowhere. Unbelievable. Just have a look professional just boom someone dropped them off I mean that would cost a fair amount of money to get that done so what's the deal well the deal is someone's funding this but guess what they're tearing this stuff down let's have a look at this All right, all right, all right. So just as quickly as it came to be, it's shut down because the politicians can't have that going on during an election year. Simple as that. And here they are carted away on a bus. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at that. And as everyone cheers on. Good luck, people. Yeah, see you later. But uh, some good news here. Check it out. Palestinians get a free ticket to the Paris Olympics. No need to compete whatsoever. Uh, between six and eight Palestinian athletes are expected to compete at the Paris Olympics, with some set to be invited by the International Olympic Committee, even if they fail to qualify, said its leader. Come on in. You know what I mean? Like, merit means nothing anymore, people. This is virtue signaling at the highest. Guess what? Well, what about other groups that are marginalized? Should they get a free ticket in? What about uh, they're going to let trans people in soon? So uh, watch out for those female records getting smashed. 
true equality will be uh, only matched in scores in sports from now on due to transgender participation. All right, uh, let's see what this guy got to say. This guy's a local from New York. Seems like uh, he uh, he got something to say. Do you think the majority of these college students honestly know exactly what they're protesting for? The majority of these college students are here on a government loan. They are studying something unbelievably stupid. They are basically being built for money. They have no idea. It's the next cool thing to do. The average person, I think, at these protests is the kid that isn't cool or good-looking enough to be invited to a house party. So because they're not invited to a house party, they make their own, which is out here, which is why what happens when they summon these people with a flyer, 10,000 of them show up. These are 10,000 people with nowhere else to be. Well, I mean... It's hard to argue with that, isn't it? If they did have somewhere else to be, they certainly wouldn't be there, would they? All right, so uh, we have surveillance video shows a moment a transgender sex offender attempted to kidnap a young boy during recess at elementary school. Good Lord, uh, everybody's worst nightmare. Solomon Galligan, 33, was caught on camera walking onto a field at Black Forest Hills Elementary School in Aurora, Colorado around 2.20 p.m. April 22nd, according to an affidavit from Aurora Police. In the surveillance footage, Galligan is seen walking up to the children in the field as one potential victim ran when Galligan tried grabbing them but fell over a towel and lunged at another. All right, so this guy's obviously a sick individual. Let's see exactly what occurred. Was there any way to prevent this? Here we have staff approaching from the left as they noticed something was afoot as a transgender individual tried to snatch up a child and drop their towel or perhaps it was a pillowcase. Boom, there you have it. Sigma Tiger News all up in your grill. What's really going on with the protest? Tune in here because we always got it popping. We'll have a little bit of a new format coming up. We'll get some Tiger tips in there, perhaps. A few little winky dinks. Go ahead, like and subscribe. Sigma Tiger, signing out.